It's knowing how to derive the equations. I wouldn't remember anything if I didn't know, go a level deeper and learn how to, where the equations come from. If you take the time to learn how to derive an equation, I guarantee you will remember it. Common example, quadratic equation. That's a lot of random things like X equals negative B plus or minus squared of four AC, uh, B squared minus four AC over two A. Most high school students see that and they just hear a bunch of random letters and things, you know, and so that's difficult to memorize. However, um, there's a way to derive the quadratic equation by completing the square. It's a little involved, but it's cool because then it's the formula like comes from somewhere, not just presented to you. And if you take the time to go through the process of deriving the formula, it will be memorized, guaranteed. But I recommend not just learning a formula because it was on a piece of paper, learn where it comes from. Pythag uh, Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There's a lot of ways to come up with it using geometry and, and shapes, but I recommend going through one of them. I guarantee you will remember the formula after going through that process. And that's where all the cool stuff is, is in knowing where it comes from, not just memorizing it. In physics, I've memorized some simple formulas. Um, so, so I'll give you a quick example. Uh, the units of force are kilograms, meters per second squared. Now that sounds like what? You know, that, that just sounds like, again, another bunch of random things put together that I would never memorize. However, what I do remember is F equals MA. Uh, a lot of people would learn F equals MA. And so what I can do is what I, I don't memorize the units. So I just go F equals M, what are the units of M? mass kilograms times a acceleration what are the units of acceleration meters per second squared the units for force are kilogram meters per second squared so i, I just remembered f equals ma i didn't remember all that but i can just piece it together really quickly from that so um there's there's little tricks basically i think you shouldn't just be like rote memorizing formulas you should either learn to derive the formula and i'll end with a famous quote i was like from richard Feynman. He was a famous physicist he always said you don't understand a, pro uh, a problem unless you can derive it four different ways so you got to imagine he's putting in a lot more effort to understand how to derive it uh, four different ways. When, if, once you dig in on that level, memorizing it is no longer your issue.